140 characteristics or less. Each of you are going to get a celebrity tweet with a multiple choice of answers. You pick one, and I'll tell you if you're wrong. Now let's start here with Mateo. These are celebrity tweets. Who said this, but not a couple weeks ago? No homo. How about no homeless? Change the world. Was it Jaden Smith, the Dalai Lama, or Macklemore? Macklemore. Sounds like him. I'm sorry, but it was Jaden Smith. It was Jaden Smith. Yes. The poet laureate, Jaden Smith. Uh, I think the poet was their parents who combined Jada and N. With a will to make Jaden. All right, let's slide over to Bob. Bob, who said this? No, no, I didn't go to England. I went to London. No, no, I didn't go to England. I went to London. Was it John Mayer, Obama, or Paris Hilton? Paris Hilton? It was Paris Hilton! There's 10 points to Bob! Come on, audience, let's hear it for him. Woo! All right, Bob, people are loving it. They can't believe it. They cannot believe it. All right, here we go. Gene, here's a tweet for you. Was rushing home to take a dump and got behind the school bus dropping kids off. Longest 30 minutes of my life. Is it Kim Kardashian, Dane Cook, or Lil Jon? That's a tough one. Indeed it is. Let me read it again. Was rushing home to take a dump and got behind the school bus dropping kids off. Longest 30 minutes of my life. I'm going to go with Dane Cook. We thought you would, and it's Little John. It's Little John, ladies and gentlemen. Little John. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you read it, it's in all caps. If I told you it was in all caps, would that have changed your answer? Yeah. It's, it still would have been pretty tough. It would have been tough. It's, it's tough to say. All right, after round one of three, uh, we've got Bob with ten gene and Mateo with zero. Let's go into round two. Uh, Mateo came up. He said, do we have drinks up here? We do have drinks. Uh, we're going to do a, a round right now. We, uh, we got, actually got a lot of drinks. Woo! Two drinks. Three drinks. Uh, we're drinking only the finest swill whiskey <laughs> that $8 can buy. No, I'm kidding. It's uh, for my personal swill collection. It was $9. All right, this round is 20 points. Each of you are once again going to get a question around we like to call Win, Lose, or Shots. All right, you're gonna find, you're gonna, I'm gonna give you a, uh, a sporting event. This is trivial sports knowledge. Doesn't mean that much, but we're men. We love sports. Gene loves sports, like uh, pinball. <laughs> I imagine he was a pinball guy. Now, Gene, uh, I'm gonna give you a first. I'm gonna give you a, a, a sports, uh, basically a, a, a an, an answer, a final score. You're gonna tell me if it's correct. All right, it's very simple whether the team won or lost. You tell me if they won or lost. But if you get it wrong, you gotta take a pair of shots. Got it? But if you do take the pair of shots, you'll still get the 20 points. You ready, Gene? Okay. All right, Gene, drum roll please there, Rand. That was a long explanation of something I made up 20 minutes ago. All right, 1986 Super Bowl, the Bears. Win or lose? Win. They won, there's 20 points to Gene, ladies and gentlemen. All right, all right. Mateo, 1994 World Series, the Yankees, win or lose, win, lose, or shots, baby, win, lose, or shots. Matt, give me some of that baseball shit. 94 was a long time ago. 94 was a long time ago. Yankees, win or lose. That's right, there was no World Series in 1994. That is correct, let's give it up! Mateo! 20 points, strike short season. Strike short season. Thank you, it's nice that you get to sit in the audience. If you, if you actually paid attention. Yeah, how come I got the trick question? I <laughs> get a shot for that. Pro you want a shot for that? Go right ahead, dude. There was supposed to be someone of a penalty. I'll give you 10 points for asking for it. All right. Started with leading the first round, but a lot of points have been handed out this round. It was a little too easy, and I regret that, but let's keep moving. <laughs> the Portland Trailblazers, first regular season game against the Suns. Win, lose, or shots? Win. 
I'm sorry they lost. <laughs> Still got your shots, you still got your points. Here, here's what we're looking going in the final round. Holy cow, can you believe it? What a fucking contest. How dumb are you? Puss, dumb to write on the poster board and uh, do this contest. That would be me. I'm the winner. Here we go, uh, round number three. Uh, this is uh, this round, boy, howdy. It's worth 40, right? Thousand points. A little bit of a game changer when it's 30, 30, 20. Anyone's game. This round is called Carry O'Briety. Carry O'Briety, mixing together karaoke and a sobriety test. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's, I know Carrie O'Briety sounds like an Irishman's name, but it is the final round tonight, mixing up two very stupid things, getting a DUI and singing karaoke. Uh, what we need you to do, uh, one at a time, you're each gonna get a, a chance to sing the chorus of Chumpa Wumba's tub thumping while lifting up one leg and pointing on your nose with the, your hand from the other side. There we go. So a little, a little one of these maneuvers. I get knocked down, but I get up again. Or you're never gonna let me down, or something. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I'm the lyrics. I don't have to sing it tonight. Uh, I'm the fucking host. Forty thousand points to the winner that the audience votes the best, and the winner will get a bottle of hot sauce from Northwest Lectures and first round of drinks at the Devil's Point. Uh, Bob, you're in the lead. That means you have to go first. You gotta bite. The bullet. So we need you to take center stage here. Bring your mic. Uh, in, the mic in the mic, Bob. Do you uh, do you know this song? Tub thumping by Chumba Wumba. Yep. <laughs> he, you were gonna you were gonna go over to the uh, uh, the Chinese restaurant up the street and sing it in just a little bit. What's that place called? Chopsticks. Chopsticks five or twelve? Is there always One a, of those. they're always a sequel. All right, here we go. Bob, uh, boys are gonna play. Here you go. Let's get a foot up, finger on the nose, other mic. Other hand has the mic, and here is Carrie O'Brien. Come on, people, let's hear it for him. 